What is going on everyone? Well, guess what? We're back in Santa Marta. The last time we were here, we liked it so much for those days that we were here that we decided to come back here and stay for a while. So, we're just taking a walk. Bebe. We're just taking a walk now. We're actually on the way to the gym. There's a lot of road traffic here. This is one of the things. This is the noisiest part of Santa Marta, but that's okay. This place is gorgeous. So we're going to stay here for a couple months before we decide what we're going to do next. Going to try to get back to Canada. Um, and uh, I'm working on getting her a visa to Canada. Anyway, on that note, this is Santa Marta, round two. Let's get it. You guys might be able to see all the mountains up in the background. This whole area is just surrounded by mountains. And on that side, over there, is the beach. So this is the gym I've been training at. It's an open air gym. There is no AC. It is hot as hell, but it's great. It's got tons of equipment and I don't know copyright rules. So I'm basically finding excuse to speak over this. Barbell hip thrust, an exercise that I love, but not enough guys do. But I just refuse to be one of these guys with a flat ass and big biceps that are running around the gym. So you notice that my chin is tucked. That is because you can get a better glute squeeze at the top if your chin is tucked. Secondly, the shin angle or your lower leg should be roughly vertical. Too many people have their feet too far away and you're overusing your hamstrings and quads. Number three, pause on the lockout for a second or more. guys so we just had to stop at this little place called enjoy fit this is something we found like two weeks into being here this is one of the only places that you can get cold brew and iced coffee in in in, in colombia in santa marta in the coast of colombia i don't know why but colombia has one of the best coffees in the whole freaking world and it's like they don't realize it they definitely don't harness it they could make this such a big coffee culture like i keep Every time I'm in, in Santa Marta, I keep seeing parts of Santa Marta that, that remind me of Costa Rica. And I'm not saying Costa Rica is perfect. Um, Colombia is definitely more affordable. But there's parts of Santa Marta that remind me of, of, of Costa Rica. And when you can find a little spot like this, a little cafe like this, with these healthier alternative foods that have cold brew, that have iced coffee, sugar-free this, oat pancakes, lots of different eggs, options, fruits, things like that, if you are looking to, you know, stop at a place before the gym, after the gym, or just if you're health conscious, this is a good is a good spot to stop. But it's just something crazy to me that I just don't understand why Colombia does not harness their coffee culture more. There are no cafes, local cafes. If you're from Canada, you know the chain Tim Hortons, obviously. Well, Colombia has their own version of Tim Hortons. It's not Tim Hortons, but their own thing like Tim Hortons is called Juan Valdez, and there's like two to three on every block. There's one of the malls in Barranquilla that's got four Juan Valdez in the same mall. Like, that's what they're like. Uh, but, and then people will buy coffee at chain restaurants like Mr. Bono 
And it's like they don't have the, the uh, acknowledgement of how good their coffee is in this region. Anyway, that being said, when you find a gem like this, you got to hit it up. Once again, it's called Enjoy Fit. It's right behind a CrossFit gym. You can get food here too. The prices are really good and reasonable in comparison to what you'd find in Costa Rica or something like that. Let me try this. It's excellent. It's excellent. Really good, especially better than the fact that you can't find cold brew here, so I'm gonna take this. Really good, excellent job. This right there. View from the water. By the way, guys, the water is really shallow, really far out. So I'm doing this, I'm taking a risk with my camera, but uh, I've got strong ass hands. So in the first Santa Marta video, we were actually in the city of Santa Marta and the ocean front there, and then we went to Taganga. Um, I don't know if I put any clips of this area that we're actually staying in right now. The name of this area is called Gaira. It's still considered Santa Marta, but what I found is that there's more good uh, apartment building options. It's a little bit farther away. If you're trying to go out to the nicest dinners, if you're trying to go out to the bar, this is probably not the best area for that, but for us, we go to the gym, we go to the grocery store, and we go to the beach, and we go to our uh, apartment, and that's it. So for us, this really works. If you're the partier type, you probably want to be closer to downtown Santa Marta. If you're the go out to dinner every night type, you probably want to uh, want to be better uh, near the downtown of Santa Marta. That being said, this area is gorgeous right near the beach. It's safe. You can walk around. There are a bunch of restaurants. There are a bunch of different things there as well. So you can definitely get good food options from really cheap, starting around uh, 17,000 pesos, which is like, I don't know, um, six US dollars. You can start getting an executive plate, which is something quite basic. It's um, like a little bit of fish, some you know fried, fried plantain, some other stuff like that. So. Um, anyway, it's really affordable, but this area is called Gyra. We're on our way to the gym right now. So anytime I get a chance to try out a new machine, I take it. So this is a narrow chest press mach machine. It's sort of like a hybrid between a press and a fly. Like you get a wicked, wicked pec squeeze on this one. My pecs are on fire in this video. Um, yeah, I don't really need to talk about the form, but you guys need to go slower. So you notice my tempo going slow, 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 a little bit faster, but not super fast. And on machines like this, you should be going to failure, if not one rep before failure, especially if your goal is to build muscle. I'm going to give you an apartment tour of this apartment and actually this is the our last day here we've been in this apartment for a month so it's been I don't know five and a half weeks since the first Santa Marta video um, so we virtually came here to check it out and we decided after a couple days holy crap we prefer this to Barranquilla for this moment in our lives so we went back to Barranquilla packed up our stuff 
on moving day, we actually came here. They lined up seamlessly. We came here, we found this apartment. Now I want to give you guys a couple tips before I do this tour. I want to give you guys a couple tips about trying to find rental properties in Colombia in general. So if you are finding properties on Airbnb, it is more convenient, but you're going to pay more every single time. And I think this is true in pretty much every single country, but it's especially true in Colombia. The difference is huge in Colombia. Uh, so what I recommend is with, if you're coming to Colombia, um, or if you're already here, find a place on Airbnb in that location for a brief period of time, then hit the ground running. Uh, find a, a friend who is Colombian, um, a, um, talk to someone who can help you get a place. Because what's going to happen if you're, if you're an obvious tourist, if you're an obvious gringo, I don't even like to use that word, but if you're an obvious tourist, you're not from Colombia, you're going to get gringo priced. In other words, you're going to find an apartment and they're going to I, I, I don't know how much it actually happens, but I'm going to have to say it's at least half the time they're going to charge you more because you're a tourist. And there are actually tourist pricing here in, in businesses where if you come in as a tourist, they're going to charge you one thing. If you come in as a local, they're going to charge you another thing. Okay, so FYI, Airbnb is going to be jacked up. If you try to rent a place and you're an obvious tourist, it, the prices are going to be jacked up. I have to thank my girlfriend big time for helping me with this. She's obviously, she's Colombian and she was able to speak to the agents and stuff like that and help us get this property. Now, what also happened, we're actually leaving this apartment. We don't want to leave. Once you see, when I take you through the, to the walkthrough, you're gonna understand why we don't wanna leave this apartment. Uh, this apartment cost us around 1,240 US dollars, which is really expensive for Colombian standards, but you'll see why in a second but it's a rip off. We got ripped off. We found out that the agent kind of pulled a little bait and switch on us uh, and we end up getting charged more for this place. And the crazy thing is she was, she wanted to, or the, the owner wanted to increase the price on us because there's a, a, um, a holiday here called Semana Santa. Semana Santa. It's, it's, it's a, the Holy Week. And Everyone in Colombia doesn't work. Everyone's on vacation. It's families and everything. So they see it as an opportunity to gain more money, to make more money. So what they're basically trying to do is say, okay, I think the owner wants to charge more money and they want to come show up and negotiate with us what we will pay more to prevent them from booting us. And we're like, no, we're not playing those games. So what we did is, thanks to my girlfriend, again, we actually, this is what I recommend all you guys do. So first off, Get the Airbnb, get the apartment that's obviously overpriced, know it's gonna be overpriced, and then get the local or have a girlfriend like me who is Colombian and hit the ground running. Get out, enter buildings, talk to the reception. Do you rent on a monthly basis? Do you rent the X and X and X? Do you rent furnished apartments? Whatever your needs are. And just like go around and ask like six, eight, 10 apartments in, in an afternoon or a morning. And so that's what we did. And we got a whole bunch of numbers and she called them from our apartment, obviously not with me in presence because they're going to see me. Maybe half of those will see me as a tourist and be like, Oh, we can charge them more money. We can charge them more money. So without her saying that I was gringo, she called a bunch of these places and she helped us find really good prices, way better than this place. What would actually be charged to the locals if there were Colombian tourists coming here? Okay, so we got those prices. So that's what I recommend doing. Book an Airbnb for a short amount of time, go out on foot and look for the for rent signs and apartments, or just walk right into the, the lobbies of buildings and ask them. And then round up all the numbers and all the data and start calling them and then just be like, boom, boom, eliminate, eliminate, eliminate the ones that are gonna be more expensive or don't really fit you, and then narrow right down, and then um, some places will actually let you view the apartment right on the spot. Uh, the one we end up choosing allowed us to view them on the spot, and that's really convincing when we can view it on the spot. Now, I'm gonna take you through a walkthrough of that one. It's older than this one, but it's cheaper, and the views are freaking insane. I promise you, the views, are in, the views in this apartment are insane. But the views in that apartment are insane, insane. They're really insane. 
you'll have to wait to see that. Uh, maybe in this video later, but probably in the next, the next video. Anyway, so let's do this apartment walkthrough. Hope those tips were helpful, guys. Okay guys, we're just entering the apartment here. Obviously the living room area, you can see the balcony. I'll show you that in a second. Pretty sizable kitchen here. Uh, for Colombian standards, what I found, this is actually a really good size fridge. Most places will have a smaller kitchen and a much smaller fridge. When you're renting on Airbnb, if you are a person like me who values cooking, who values health at a high level, and I'm assuming a lot of you guys are, you're gonna have a hard time finding big kitchens and, and uh, big fridges. It's every Airbnb and every apartment in Colombia seems to be set up for people that basically have a fridge full of alcohol and ice and nothing else. <laughs> it's crazy. Uh, laundry machine. Another thing you can expect here in rentals is laundry machine, but not a dryer. Dryers are not common. A uh, little area for cleaning stuff. As you guys can see, are a couple different blenders, coffee maker, uh, microwave, which shockingly isn't standard in Colombia, FYI guys. You don't get them in every apartment. Okay, so coming into this area, as you can see, the hallway down the way, a little bit of a, a table here for to put some stuff. Um, awesome, awesome table. This is a rare find in Colombia, a six person table. This apartment is uh, two bedroom, two bath. So. They're, they're assuming families are going to come here, but these chairs, guys, this was a dream to work on. These chairs were comfortable, they're padded, uh, and to view, to look out the, the, the balcony when you're working was great. We did not touch the TV. We never touch TVs. What TV? Um, couch, uh, also a weird trend in Colombia. I've been in multiple cities in Colombia nine times out of ten. I've been in probably 10 or 11 apartments between Cartagena, Medellin, uh, Barranquilla, Santa Marta, even the island of San Andreas. Um, the couches are always hard. Uh, okay, so here's one of the breadwinners here. Look at this, guys. Let me show you this. Now, it's a little bit foggy and cloudy today, but on days when this is clear, this is normally clear every single day, but check this out. Check out that view. Standing out here every single morning is a dream. And when it's clear, you can see more of the details in the mountains. And obviously we have a pool, hot tub. There are a lot of people here today. Normally this is empty, but because it's getting closer to Holy Week, really close to Holy Week, there are a lot of families and stuff here now. It's really filling up. All of the, the windows here have this, um, this blue coating on it, which helps block out a lot of the sun sunlight. Okay, so coming in here, um, this is a little area. I think when families are here, they'll put children here, uh, a couple fans, um, so you know, an extra spare bed. And here we have the first um, separate bathroom. So bathroom, obviously, shower, toilet, sink. Um, Cold water, guys, in Santa Marta, you're not gonna find hot water unless you're in a brand, 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 brand new building. And this is a new building, but I guess it's not brand new enough. The second bedroom, uh, we have a double bed and bunk beds, once again, appealing to families. We actually slept in this room a lot of the time because the air conditioning unit works a lot better in this room and it allowed me to sleep better because I'm a baby like that. And then, we have the master bedroom. Obviously here we have the bed, tables and lamp, another balcony. I'll show you that balcony. Do dodging through all of our stuff. So second balcony here. Look at that. And like I said, normally it's not this kind of overcast and misty in the, in the distance. Normally it's really clear but the view is just awesome. Okay, another little TV, another air conditioner here. Once again, we don't really use them that, that much. TVs we do not touch. This is the best thing about 
these master uh, bedrooms here. Storage on one side, storage on another side, lots of room for clothing. This apartment is just bomb for that. Another bathroom, another shower, pretty much what you can expect from a bathroom. So this is all of our stuff obviously packed up. So this is the spot guys. To stop overusing your lower back in a back extension, make sure the pivot point is at your hips. Basically, you're squeezing through your glutes. That's the pivot point. Make sure you're not flopping and rounding and changing the angle of your spine during the movement whatsoever. The movement comes from the hips. This should target your glutes and your hamstrings a lot. So make sure the pad is about an inch or two below the front of your hip bones. And on that note, guys, this is a really good time for me to sign off for this video. Uh, expect at least one more Santa Marta video before we go to another country. I'm excited for this next country and to show you guys where we're at. Um, yeah, all, all is great, guys. The workout plan since we've been in Santa Marta has been amazing. Our nutrition, especially especially her nutrition, has improved a lot. She's about six weeks, my girlfriend is about six weeks into her uh, workout plan. I don't stop, I'm, 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 I've been going forever. So, on that note, you guys make sure you hit that like button on this video to tell YouTube that I'm a good creator. I'm new, but I'm good. Uh, and then also hit that subscribe and the bell so you're notified every time I make a video, whether it's like this, a travel vlog, or whether it's like an educational video, which I do have two coming really soon. Cheers, guys. By the way, it's almost 40 degrees in this gym. Forgot to say that.